We are now ready to program and machine our final sixth operation. From our demo part print, you will see that we have a 3x3 three three centered pocket on the inside of the part. Our tool for this operation is a half inch diameter end mill. No tool change is needed for this operation as we will continue to use the same tool too from our previous operation. From the main menu, press the simple pocket key. Confirm that you are on level 1. If you are not on level 1, use the level key to toggle between the different levels. Use the half key to select if you want to start at the center of the pocket or the corner of the pocket. For this operation, we will start in the center of the pocket where we have already drilled our pilot hole. Press enter to continue. X is the starting point of the pocket. In this case, it is 3. Press enter to continue. Y is the center point of the pocket. In this case, it is minus 3. Press enter to continue. L is the total length of the pocket along the X axis. In this example, it is 3. Press enter to continue. H is the total length of the pocket along the Y axis. In this example, it is minus 3. Press enter to continue. ZS, this is your Z safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of a quarter of an inch. Press enter to continue. Z, this is your starting point on the Z axis. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. Press enter to continue. P is our total depth. In this case, it is 0.5. Press enter to continue. I, this is the depth of cut per pass. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.25, meaning it will take two passes to get to its final depth. Press enter to continue. FZ, this is the penetrating feed rate on Z axis. This value is entered in inches per minute. In this example, we will be using a value of 10. Press enter to continue. Use the half key to select if you want coolant off or coolant on during the machining process. Press enter to continue. F, this is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of 12 inches per minute. Press enter to continue. S, this is your spindle speed. In this example, we are using a value of 2500 RPMs. Press enter to continue. Using the half key, select if you want spindle to turn clockwise or counterclockwise. For this example, we will select clockwise. Press enter to continue. P is your tool number. In this example, we are using tool 2. Press enter to continue. D is your tool offset number. In this example, we are using offset 2. Press enter to continue. Use the half key to select machining direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. In this example, we are using counterclockwise or climb milling direction. Press enter to continue. This is your step over field. In this example, we'll be using a value of 0.25. Press enter to continue. This is the finish pass in Z field. In this example, we'll be leaving 0.01 of material to be removed during the last pass. Let's run this in solid graphics so we can confirm we have defined the cycle correctly. Select the graphics icon key. For safety reasons, turn down the feed rate to zero. Press cycle start. The CNC will now ask you to turn up the feed rate. The CNC will now simulate the cycle. The process should complete with no errors. Press the escape key to go back one menu. At this time, continue and save the program. Press the P program key. At this point, we should still be under the program we have created. If not, navigate back to the program. Once there, press enter to insert the simple pocket operation into the program. To execute the cycle, press escape twice. You now see that there is a cycle start icon at the top of the screen. Turn down the feed rate to zero and press cycle start button to begin executing the cycle. You will need to increase the feed rate after pressing cycle start. If gear ranges are an option on your machine, you may be prompted to change to the correct gear. Change gear, press enter to continue. Slowly turn up the feed rate so execution can continue. 
To see additional information while the program is being executed, use the half key to toggle between basic and advanced screen. This concludes our demo part example of setup, programming, and program execution. Please feel free to rewind, pause, and review any of the previous information in this video to increase your knowledge of the Fagor 8055i MC CNC control.